In this short video, we'll be looking to damaging the enemy turret with ally minions. I've set up a basic auto attack system without using the usual animation event and instead run a damage function based on the ally attack speed. And once they're in range of the tower, the tower's health will deplete. If you guys just want the project, you can go to my Patreon and get it there alongside the two MOBA series project files. I'd like to first thank my Patreon supporters, Jason, Long, Muhammad, Lan, and Nicholas. With that being said, let's dive right into the video. Opening up our stat script, we're going to make some small changes here. I made the current health from being a private to a public so that we can access it from other scripts. Scrolling down, I've also added different else if statements based on each tag so that we can check if they are dead or not. I've done one for the turret and enemy minion since the ally minion will be the one checking if they are dead or not. We'll also add a small change in the minion AI script where we change the variable once again from being a private to a public. Do this for the current target variable. That is all the scripts we need to update. Back in Unity, go to our ally minion prefabs and add this script to it. Call it minion combat. And in this script, these are the variables we'll need. A private float called attack range, a private float called attack damage, a public float called attack cooldown, another private float called last attack time, a private ball for is attacking which is set to false, and a reference to both the stat script and minion AI script. In the start method, we'll initialize a combat system. We set the attack range based on the AI's stopping distance plus a small buffer. And we'll also set the attack damage based on the character's stats. Moving down into the update method, we check if the character can attack, and if it's not currently attacking, and has a target within the range, we'll initialize the attack method. This will lead us to the private bull can attack. This method checks if the character is not already attacking and if the target is in range. If these conditions are met and if set true, this will indicate that the ally minion can attack. Once all these checks are made, we will then call the attack void. When an attack is triggered, we record the attack time and set a flag to indicate that an attack is in progress. Then, we deal damage to the target based on its tag. If the target is an enemy minion or turret, we will reduce their health. We keep track of the attack cooldown to ensure that the characters can't attack continuously. It's set to 1 by default, but you can later change it to 0.5 or to whatever you see fit. This cooldown will prevent rapid attacks and balance the combat system. This is all that's needed for the minion combat script. Heading back into Unity, you can play around the variables to what you think is best for your ally minion attack cooldown. You can also do the same for the attack damage and definitely the turret health. When I press play, you'll be able to see the minions walk towards the turret and damage them once they come to a stop on the tower. That is all for this video. If you do want the project, you can get it by subscribing to my Patreon down below along with the rest of the MOBA project files. If you have any questions, suggestions or just want to join my community, my Discord will also be down in the description. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!